<laughs> Hello. My name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here. Why? Because God teaches us more and more. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this scripture that you've been teaching us more and more to learn about you and how to improve. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, here's our question from before. What was the tabernacle for? The tabernacle. That's where Moses ordered the people to build the tabernacle in the Old Testament. It was important, but why? Here's our answer. It was to worship God in. The people would come to the tabernacle to worship God. They would set it up and get it ready and make sacrifices and offerings. So there's your answer. Okay. Now, for time with God, our devotional today, be strong in the Lord. Wow. We need to. We need to stand and be strong because we could get exhausted from the world pulling at us and sucking out our energy. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Do you know that Paul, he was letting the Ephesians know, my brothers, you're precious. Be strong in the Lord. Why? Because evil exists. It's really amazing how evil the world is and how can it, it can destroy you. So when I'm setting up videos on YouTube or preaching and I have a family and I'm a grandfather, all these things, and I see that Satan's trying to, to attack me, but I have to keep going because God helps me and he'll help you too. He'll help you to stand and be strong in the Lord because he has power and might. The world will try to get you and steal your energy and damage your spirit, but you have to stand strong for him and God will give you strength to keep going until Jesus comes back soon. Amen. So be strong. That's why it's important to have time with God every single day. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for scripture. Oh, we know that the world out there is no good. But God, you've already explained to us how to stand and be strong until Jesus Christ comes back. You're really precious to us. And we're so glad you reign over everything. We praise you. And we thank you that your son, Jesus Christ, came to earth to die on a cross. You've removed our sins. And we thank you. You're precious. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So now, Bible trivia. This is an interesting one. What weapons did Gideon use to defeat the Midianites? Do you know this story? Gideon called many and then less than 300. What did he use? What weapon? Do you know the answer? Remember, God will always be with you wherever you go. So stand strong for him. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.